Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and very good day. I'm sure all of you are fine. Yes, sir. We have been born as a soldier, isn't it? We fight for the country. At the same time, we have also planned to support the resist or establish peace for the world. That is the reason probably we have come in Congo to establish peace in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Am I right? Okay. So this job is also basically soldierly job. Isn't it? We are not doing anything which is not the job of a soldier. And many times I am sure that you have heard the peace cannot be established by the troops, but it is the only troops or the soldier who can establish the peace. So wherever there is a problem, the problem needs soldier to establish peace or for keeping the peace. Have you understood? So wherever we go, we have to fight for some cause. In Democratic Republic of Congo, we are fighting for the establishing peace in Congo, isn't it? So many times you must be knowing the number of armed groups are working here. Kodeku, Jaire, and, and, and many, many other groups, isn't it? But one of the private responsibilities is that we have to evict them from our area of responsibility. We have to also show the gesture or the posture which is very, very protective, isn't it? We have to be very, very aggressive. For defensing ourselves, we have to also go for isn't it? So always it is the job or it is the task of the troops. It is the task of the soldiers. We cannot hide ourselves inside the camp, can we? No, sir. That cannot be a soldier. We have to go out of the camp, we have to really find out the target, and we will be going for the plan and targeted operation. And I have to tell you this much. The guard is sacrificed, but it just cannot be spoiled. It just cannot be left or spoiled. Okay? So we have to respond in a manner so that we can we can stand, sacrifice.